Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from Walmart. And you guys know that I have been looking for um, a slow cooker uh, or a multi-cooker. And as you can see, this Walmart doesn't even have all of the ones that normally are on the shelf. But guys, guess what? So the Instapot, this is the 8 quart, is $99. I found one for cheaper. You guys stay tuned to the rest of the video. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm back. So, finally getting in from Walmart. Um, before I show you my quick little haul, let me tell you, we ended up going to Walmart twice today. And if you follow my Instagram, you know I was fussing about the first trip. So, the first trip we went to this Walmart because my husband had to get a tire. And y'all, <laughs> oh we, the customer service is really messed up in Walmart. So anyway, and this was a nice area, you know, somewhat. Not one that I frequent, though. Anyway, so the guy was giving us a hard time. Didn't want to give my husband the price break on the tire, even though it wasn't listed online. It was listed in the store for a lower price, and they would not budge on the price of the tire. So, you know, and the guy refused to check us out, refused to change the price in the system, all of that, it was just ridiculous. So we ended up having to go to the front of the store, get a manager involved, got the price break, and check out. So yeah, so that was the first trip. Second trip, because at that point, I said, I don't even want to shop in the store. I'm ready to go. I'm not putting no money into this particular location. So we went to a different location, and we got a few things. So some stuff I'm going to show you is actually husband's, because I brought it upstairs. He His closet is actually upstairs in the house. Um, so we have, um, this room that I'm in is our double office slash my business, <laughs> um, and arcade. But anyway, um, this used to be a bedroom. So this bedroom has a walk-in closet and that's the closet that husband used. Now our bedroom also has a walk-in closet. Um, and we both use that one. So anyway, I brought his things upstairs that way he could just hang his things up. So let me show you what husband got first. So what he purchased for himself, um, you know, we live we live in a state where we have all four seasons. And one of those seasons lasts about nine months, if you know what I'm talking about. So um, we are now into fall. As you can see, I have on my beautiful fall shirt. Oh, but before I show you his, his stuff, y'all got to see my pants. Look at my pants. Look at my pants, y'all. I got these pants for a dollar. Do you hear me? Look at my pants. Got my little pumpkins on there. Yes, I am fall ready. And then I have on my Love and Faith shirt. So it says in all, no, in every season, I will praise him. And I have my leopard print pumpkin and my pumpkin and my cross. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Now, granted, yes, the colors in the shirt doesn't match the pants. I did have on a black sweater until it got a little too warm and I took my sweater off. But anyway, pumpkins and pumpkins go together, okay? So I just had to show y'all that. I do have another picture of me with my sweater on. I'll put that at the end of the video. But anyway, so husband wanted to get ready for fall. He had told me, um, I don't know if it was yesterday or day before, something that he wanted to get some more of the heavier flannels because... Um, then he doesn't have to wear, like, you know, a jacket or whatever. He can wear this over his shirts. So, I told him I did see some at Walmart. So, he got this one here. And it has, like, the Sherpa type of inside, you know, warm. So, he got this flannel here. The blue, red, and white. Which I thought was super cute. And then, um, because, you know, he's going to be wearing these almost like jackets. I'm like, you need more than one. So... I also asked him to get this one because you guys know I have a red and black buffalo check coat. I have the pants. I got the pajamas. I got the slippers. You know me. So I was like, this would be perfect, especially during the holiday time. Yes. So have I changed my theme yet for the holidays? Probably not because I'm still in love with the red and black buffalo check, but I thought this would be beautiful. My husband looks amazing in red. So I was like, oh, yes. I mean, the blue is fine. Don't get me wrong, but I like the red and black, too. They had one other one that was, um, oh, gosh, was it brown? I don't know what the color is, but it was like navy and a brown or something. 
That one was okay, but I like these two. These were uh, priced at $22.92. Not a bad price, but anyway. Then um, I talked him into getting some basketball shorts, just something to sit around the house in. So these are the and ones shorts, and they had these in a several different colors. They had them in silver, uh, charcoal, gray, black, and a navy. These were priced at $9.97. So I just got him one pair because I said, you know, just something different to sit around the house in and, you know, whatever. Because uh, when we're at home, you know, we like to be comfortable. So I had to make sure my man is comfortable. Hello? Okay, so that's as far as clothing, that's all we got at Walmart. Now, the stuff I won't show you, but I'll tell you about it because you know that's what I do. We did pick up toilet paper. We picked up water. I picked up two 12-packs, 12-packs of toilet paper because, y'all, all that toilet paper that I had stockpiled, do you know I'm down to my last big pack? So these last two weeks, I've been picking up toilet paper, and I've been trying to pick up, you know, anywhere from 12-pack, 24-pack, whatever. So I picked up two, are they 12 packs? No, two 24 packs today, and I picked up a 12 pack last week. So I'm starting to build up my stockpile again because, you know, once it gets cold, I don't want to be outside. Anyway, so I picked up toilet paper today. We had to get more plastic wear, more, you know, forks, knives, and spoons. And then what else? We picked up water for 35 count of water. And we also picked up sodas to stock the fridge upstairs. So, um, and we picked up, I think, three 12 packs of that. And then also, I had to get birthday cards because my mom and dad's birthdays are coming up. Mom's is Monday of the 20th, and dad's is the 26th. My birth father's, his birthday was the 17th. And then my little sister's birthday was the 12th. And my brother in law birthday was the 10th. When I tell you September is full, okay. So, anyway, I'm trying to get to this sticker, but the grand finale, the grand finale, okay, because I told you I'm not going to be before you long, I got a short video for you today, but, yes, so, you guys know, I've been looking at crock pots, multi-cookers, right, and I kept saying that I wanted something like what I had, now, what I had, I believe, was Hamilton Beach, and I got it free. So, you know, I wasn't really pressed about the brand just because I got it free um, when I worked for the utility company. So anyway, <clears throat> that something happened with that one. I told you, you know, husband had put it in the air fryer, melted the handles. And then I, once the handles got melted, I was like, I'm done. I'm not, you know. So anyway, um, <sighs> I've been looking at multi-cookers, and I showed you guys. I mean, I showed you the Farberware, the Instant Pot ones. Um, there was another. I think Ninja has one. There was one by Aroma, um, and there was one other one, I thought. I can't remember. Anyway, so the beginning of this video, you saw when I walked through and I was showing you guys that you know, showing what I saw today, you know, and I should, I think I showed you kind of some of the regular crock pots, you know, the old school kind. Well, anyway, I had been looking and looking and looking. I still hadn't made a decision until today. So, and I took you guys along for the walkthrough so you can see, and I'm just like, mm, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know. Well, today, when we went to the second Walmart where we did our actual shopping, our errands and stuff, um, Husband and I, normally we split in the in the uh, store. So I'll go my way, he goes his, and then we just come back together. But today we stayed together. And so we walked over to the clearance aisle. And I just happened to, you know, at first I was like, oh, they don't have anything. That's what I said. That's what I thought, right? But that's because I was at the end where, like, mm, car stuff was and filters for the house, stuff like that. Well... And plus, there was people in the aisle, too, so I couldn't see. Once they moved, y'all, once they moved, let me show you. Oh, and I can barely lift it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, before I tell you how much I paid for it, I know you saw a yellow sticker. Before I tell you how much I paid for it, when I was looking at 
the multi cookers, the instant pots, the you know slow cookers, whatever you want to call them. Um, I had it in my mind that I wanted the one that says instant pot. Why? Because my husband bought me an air fryer, and I wanted the labels to match. Now I know instant pot or instant pot, whatever you want to call it. I know they make a coffee maker that's like a Keurig, but it's by them. And I was looking at that last year when I was, you know, thinking about getting um, a new Keurig. But I ended up going with Keurig, the brand Keurig. So I, I was fine with it not matching at that point. Because at that time, I think I didn't have my air fryer yet. But anyway, or maybe I did. I don't know. Anyway, when I was looking, I was like, I really want that Instapot. But oh my God, the price. So the eight quart is like $99. The six quart is like $89. And I'm just like, oh, I just don't know if I want to spend that. Because my previous multi-cooker uh, priced at about $50 to $60. So I was like, I'm willing to spend about that. But I don't know if, you know, getting higher up like that. I'm just not sure. So, but I do know it would be well worth the money because I would use it. Right? Right. Y'all. Guess how much I paid. So this is the six quart that you saw. Guess, 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 guess. I'll give you a moment. I'll give you a moment. I wish I had the little music. You know, the ding, 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 whatever, you know. Y'all. Regular price, $89, right? I paid. <sighs> Drum roll. I paid $40. Oh my God. Oh my God. I paid $40. I said, you can't beat that with a stick. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you very kindly. So let me show you because I don't want nobody thing. Oh, she, she telling a story. No, baby. Look at that. It was priced at 80. Then it, they priced it down to 40. Regular price, $89. Yes, it's mine. It's mine. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Um, I don't have my scissors over here with me, but we're going to open this because actually I'm getting ready to prep it for tomorrow. One last thing I got to do because tomorrow I'm actually going to be out and about. And so it would be best if I can cook at home. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm going to have to get some scissors because I can't get it. I got one, one piece of tape, but not the rest of it. Um, Hold that thought, okay? We'll be right back. One minute. The joys of being in an office. You got your scissors right there. Because if I was downstairs, I'd have to run to the kitchen. Whew. All right, come on now. There we go. It says, hello, bonjour. Thank you for welcoming us into your kitchen. Get ready to experience fun, healthy cooking in an instant. Yes. How about that? All right. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, I wasn't planning to do an unboxing, but um, ooh, wait, okay, so let me see what it say. Oh, Lord, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Condensation collector, steam rack with handle, ceiling ring. Then you got your top thing. Ooh, um, some, something called a float. Float valve silicone cup. Mm, stainless steel inner pot. And then, of course, the big casing. So... Y'all, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. It needs just to be wiped off. But, oh. Well, there's the top, y'all. <laughs> hey. Uh, what do you say? Hot steam. From steam release valve can cause burns. Do not place hand, face, or unprotected skin over steam release valve while cooker is in operation okay wow okay so it tells me how to put it on 
So if I do it this way, that's closed. Like this way, it's open. All right, we got that. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is stuff I was reading about. So, and of course, you know, I'll read through the, read through the, um, what do you call that? The, um, manual. But this is part of what I was reading. So this is the, whatever I said it was, the steam rack with handles. So that's the steam rack with handles. This is the condensation collector. So I'll put that back in the bag. This is the inner pot piece. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. And it does say Instapot or instant pot. I keep saying insta. I think that's because of how people say it. So I say it how I hear it, even though I'm reading it and it says it says instant pot. So I keep saying insta. Sorry, y'all. It's kind of that country twang to come out of me sometime too. So put all that together. Alrighty, so let's make sure. Okay, okay. Y'all ready to see it? Here she is. She's ready. She said, what's up, y'all? How y'all living? How you doing? I'm in the house. Yes. This is what the inside look like with the paper in there. And I like that the plug, so the plug goes in right there, but I like how, you know, you can detach it, especially when to, you know, you want to put it away. But one thing about the cord, the cord is not long. So it definitely will have to go on the counter, the main counter when I'm cooking. So that's fine. And then I got my books and looks like some recipes. Yes. So your good girl is about to be cooking. Yes, 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 yes. I think I'm going to make them a pot of beans or something tomorrow, something. Let's see how I put this on here. Is that the front? No, that's the front. So we put it on. Oh wait. Now y'all, y'all know what I'm doing. Hold on. Is it on there? Okay, I gotta figure out how to I gotta figure out how to work the thing. Cause there's this hmm, hold on. No. Okay, I see where it goes under it. Cha. I will figure it out. There we go. Woo! Ha! Got it! There you go. Ha! I was like, I'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, one thing about this one that's different than my previous, it doesn't have... It's got this sticker on here. I think the sticker comes off. But um, my previous one that was not Instant Pot, um, it had where you could see through the top. So I did like that where I could look through as opposed to having to, you know. But I also like the fact that the top screws on. But the other one, I think it, let's see. The other one, it detached and like I had to push a button in order to release it. So like you push the button and then it popped up, you know, which can be good or bad. I don't know, but I love it. It's gorgeous. Ching. <laughs> so yes, this is my gift to the household <laughs> to help me out with cooking and all that good stuff. So, well, okay. Look at there. Cool. This is awesome. And then this goes inside of here. Of course, with the plastic off. But anyway, let me turn it off there. But anyway, so this is my pot, guys. My new pot. And now let me look at the front because I didn't even look at the front. Y'all didn't even look at the front. I just saw it. I was like, oh, I'm getting it. Um, So I can do soup, soup or broth, meat or stew, beans, chili, poultry, rice, multi-grain, porridge, steam, 
uh, yogurt pressure cooker, saute, slow cook, pressure level, delay start, keep warm, and cancel. It's old and popping now. I'm like, oh, yes. Because remember, I said I wanted to get one of these because with Miss Pina being back in school and me working, you know, if I can start preparing some meals in this, then when they come home, they can just go ahead and eat. And when I get here, I can just, you know, fend for myself. So this was a must. Um, if you've been on my channel a long time, you guys know that when I used to do my menus, which I'm getting back into that, um, I would always have either one to two slow cooker meals to go, you know, to float through the week, especially on days I knew I was going to be working long. So this would definitely come in handy on my days, like on Tuesdays, especially like Mondays and Tuesdays when it's payroll week for me or when I have to work the business too. So anyway, anyhow, I want to show y'all this. Thank you. Oh, I do have one other thing I want to show you. Hold on. It's not Walmart related though. Ugh. So you know how, let me sit this in here. Ooh, I can't get in there. Hold on. There we go. So you know how, like, you be on, like, Instagram, Facebook, social media, whatever, and you get those little ads and stuff? Well, there was an ad that I saw, and I was like, oh, that'd be perfect, and it was of these T-shirts. And so you guys, as you see, I, I love my faith-based -based, T-shirts. Love and Faith is my company of choice. This particular company, I don't recall the name. I'm so sorry. But I do want to show you what I saw. Or what I purchased. Um, they were having a sale. Buy one, get one free. And um, you guys know I like to have positive affirmations type of sayings for my daughter to wear. So I have been buying her some Love and Faith shirts as well. She has mm, roughly about so one, two, three. I know she got one for St. Patrick's Day. She got one that we got that matched together. And then she got another one that I actually had ordered for myself but ordered the wrong size. But anyway, so, you know, I'm starting to build her collection a little bit as well. But this company that I don't recall the name, I'm so sorry, um, they had a sale, like I said, buy one, get one free. And so I picked up these shirts for my daughter and I. And what caught my eye, because it reminds me of Coca-Cola, and that is my now drink of choice. I drink the Cherry Coke. And so... It says, enjoy Jesus Christ, thou shalt never thirst. And it looks like this. So this one's hers. And yes, the shirts are white. I do actually prefer not to have a white shirt because white just gets dirty. But this one's mine. And I'll probably wear this like for a special occasion or if I'm traveling or something. You know, something where, you know, I want to be cute but still represent and so I picked these up for her and I. I think I only paid like 25 bucks or whatever. But um, I thought these shirts were really cute. And I just wanted to throw these into the video because it was just two shirts. But yes, that's us. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for holding tight with me while I made my decision. I could not pass up this deal, guys. I mean, I think the aroma was about that price, the $40. So to get the Instant Pot for $40 was a steal. It was such a steal that the person who checked my receipt did not believe, even though the sticker said it, that it was $40. She had to pull it up on her phone and scan it herself just to make sure I did not steal it. Baby, <laughs> never ever Boss deals for thrifty prices, best believe. So, thanks for watching. See you on a new video. Bye, guys.